The women's division in the WWE is a division in turmoil, much like the tag team division which I did a video on a few days ago, which you can find by clicking here on the previous A&M video button. Um, yeah, but now I'm talking about the women's division. The women's division is in turmoil too. Now this is my video basically where I'm going to talk about what I would do to change the division well. The stuff I would impl implement that I think the WWE are currently implementing, but I thought I'd do my video first just to beat them to it. Because last time I was going to do my tag team one, but then they beat me to it by sort of implementing changes before I managed to do my video. So now I thought, right, I'm going to do my video before they can do their changes this time, just so I can get my ideas across. And if they do the same thing, then maybe I'm just copying what I can see they're doing. But these are things that I'd like to see done anyway. So yeah, first of all, my main problem with the women's division in the WWE is that they're pushing women who are just good looking rather than women who are good wrestlers and they they're mainly just hiring women who are like models who they, who they want to send to FCW to train them how to wrestle and it's it's sort of a backward system it's like a professional uh, just any professional sports team let's take for my American viewers let's take American football it's like them taking a big uh, muscled up guy from the gym and saying right you're going to be our our defensive tackle or our linebacker or whatever those roles are, I don't know specifically, but it's like saying, right, we're going to give you a key tackling role because you're a big man, so you can tackle well, so we're going to train you out to be a ta like a, as in nose tackle, is that a position, I don't know, but we're going to train you to be a defensive tackle, basically, and as, as much as that person might have the potential to do well in that position, they don't have the skill set, they don't have the training to do it straight away, and what, what I've a main part of where WWE is going wrong with their women's division is that they they're concentrating too much on how like getting the best looking women on TV so that's what they refer to them as as their women's wrestlers and not concentrating on getting women's wrestlers and then making them look pretty because you can get pretty much any woman and make them look pretty if you want them wanted to you just put on, give them a makeover we always see these makeover shows on TV where they get some random looking woman who's just average or the slightly bit of a tomboy and then they make them into like a pretty fit young woman don't they so like you, we can do that the way we can do that if they wanted to with any woman but they choose to get these fitness models and stuff like that and then teach them out of wrestling it doesn't really work out and it, they don't have the heart for it and end up quitting and stuff like that and that's the main part problem with my well, that's my main problem with the women's division in the WWE at the moment is that they're hiring the wrong people. They should be hiring women's wrestlers, women who could wrestle. I've got a list of the current roster here in front of me and I've done little ticks and crosses next to the names to see to basically just show who I would keep around. And I've kept it around two, four, six, eight, nine women on the roster. Now nine women is more than enough to carry division in my opinion, especially when like these are just nine in-ring workers and then the rest you could like keep around as managers or interviewees like it's, it, you could just train them to be interviewers backstage and they're, to do the backstage interviews rather than because that's a lot easier than teaching them how to wrestle at the end of the day and like you still got that pretty woman on screen and they don't need to wrestle and get hurt and then quit because the they just do a broadcaster then and then that's the sort of career that these women would get into and be good at especially because in-ring a, a, a woman has uh, basically a shorter shelf life than a man in ring, especially when they only been when they've only been hired because they're good looking. Because women's looks deteriorate quickly, most like men's do. But if they've just been hired because of their looks, it's a different sort of thing to men. Men can keep up that bodybuilding image, that muscular physique, and they can keep their job into the forties and stuff. But women's looks change drastically in those ages, like not to be sexist, but um, yeah, so they lose their allure, so they, they don't have a long shelf life, whereas if they were to be a announcer backstage, or a questioner, or whatever they call them backstage, sorry I'm bothering on a bit here, but if they would be to be one of them, then that would be fine, so I could, you could keep these women on as those type of roles, obviously you'd have to find like one or two, but yeah, here we go, here's a list of uh, people on the roster, we've got Beth Phoenix, now Beth Phoenix, great wrestler, I would definitely keep her around she's a woman's wrestler she is the modern day china but and she's good looking too don't like that's my that's the thing that i don't understand about beth phoenix and the woman and uh, wwe is that why they're not pushing her she looks strong she looks like really she's a really pretty woman why not like have her as the focal part of the division she's like the whole package isn't she then we've got brie bella 
Now, as much as the, well, I'll put both the Bellatrins together. As much as they're not good wrestlers, they've got a great gimmick in the fact that there's two of them. I think they debuted in the wrong way because didn't they debut both together? I would have had just one of them debut for ages, call just have like Nikki Bella going for ages. Uh, in the women's division, maybe like three months or something, then for her to win the title, uh, yeah, I would have put the title on her when she first came in, after about three months, and then have her cheating, because it was Brie Bella who actually won, and then it turned out there was two of them, sort of a mass confusion sort of thing that the Killer Bees used to do, I would have definitely had them do that, but yeah, they can, they can stay around, because they've got that gimmick, it's a strong gimmick, they're easily presentable because of it, and yeah, it's, um, I'd keep them around even though they're not great workers, Next I've got Eve Torres. Now, Eve's a funny one. I'm not put a tick car across next to it. It's one you could keep around if you wanted. This one you could fire if you wanted. I'd keep her around. She's really good looking. She's, de she's decent in the ring as well. So yeah, I'd keep her around. Next I've got Kelly Kelly. Again, really good looking, but she can't work at all. I'd keep her as a manager, as a valet. Just a pretty face at ringside. Diva in peril. Miss Elizabeth type of role. Have her on screen married to someone at the end of the day. And then have that person just do something like the Mega Powers colliding with this... Pretty woman in the middle of them. That'd be a really good thing to do with Kelly Keller, but take her out of the ring because she's not a good in-ring wrestler, is she? Next we've got Karma. Obviously, no, no one needs to say anything about Karma. You've seen my video about Karma. If you've not, go back and watch it. I really recommend that you do. I tell everyone what I think about Karma. Karma, great worker. Definitely keep her around. Maurice, really good looking. She can work to a decent standard, and because she's really good looking, I would keep her around because she can work better than Kelly Kelly, and I think she's better looking than Kelly Kelly as well. So I'd keep her around for that. The fact that she's just a, the really good looking blonde, and she she doesn't even have to, she doesn't have to be the focal point in the division. You could just have her losing losing all the time, but just keeping around just because she's good looking. Next we've got AJ. She's little and cute. She's a good wrestler. She's sort of like Lita but smaller. I'd keep her around definitely. Axana, I'd I'd ax her straight away. I wouldn't keep her around. Although like all these women are good looking, so I'd, like. The problem, my problem with her is that she can't talk either. She's got that Russian voice going on, sort of thing, and uh, I don't like her. I'm not a fan. I would wouldn't have her on the show. Send her to FCW. Let let her have a job there. I'm sure she can do well on TV there. Help get the women over there. So I don't know. Keep keep her there if you had to keep her on. Alicia Fox, now, I'm half and half with Alicia Fox, I'd k probably keep her on as a sort of manager, she's got attitude, she's a diva with attitude, she's really good, I'd, I'd have her with the black wrestlers, like, not to be racist or anything, but the fact that you could have this, like, it'd be so easy to bring up this, a black heel, like, who's got her as the, as her, like, as his manager sort of thing, because he'd be like, you could do the nation of domination spiel like, oh, white, he's not giving me a chance, and then, like, he's got this gorgeous black valet with him, manager, who can talk as well. Can she talk? I don't remember hearing her talk, but she's got attitude, she's got the look. You can teach her to talk. So, yeah, I'd definitely keep her on in that sort of role. Next, we've got Caitlin. They, they hired her and they had her on FCW after she'd only had, like, not FCW, on NXT after she'd only had, like, one or two matches. I was a bit dismayed when I heard that, and yeah, Charlotte's in the ring work. She's really good looking, don't get me wrong, but not a wrestler, is she? I wouldn't keep her around. You could keep her around as an interviewer backstage or something, but she's not for me. Next, I've got Layla. Yep, definitely keep her around. Really good personality, a decent in ring. Yep, keep her around. Natalia, again, really good in ring, decent looking. I'd keep her around, definitely. Rosa Mendez, I'd fire her. She's good looking. Well, she's okay looking, she's not great looking, but she's not good in ring. Next, we've got Tamina. Who is surprisingly good looking. You forget about her because she's just a really good vest. And the way she did that Jimmy Snooker dive. Isn't she Jimmy Snooker's daughter or something? I would definitely keep Tamina around. Tamina's a really good worker. You could really build a good feud around like Tamina and Beth Phoenix. Next we've got Maxine in FCW. I want to keep her around. Naomi Knight. I'd keep her because she's really athletic. She's really aerobic. And, uh, you could definitely teach her how to work. So I'd keep her on. And then we've got Shawl Guerrero, I've never seen her work, slash Ra Ra Raquel Diaz, they keep they're using her as an announcer, an occasional wrestler according to Wikipedia, I've never seen her wrestle, um, <clears throat> got to see how she does with that, but um, I'd be willing to give her a chance, but yeah, after that we've got like 10 women there, to build the division around them, like, bearing in mind that you only need one feud going at a time, so that's two women involved, then you've got eight women spare to just do lots of different things with, so you don't need to feature them all all the time, but yeah, those are ten women who I'd build the division around and keep around, and then the rest could just go away, fade away, not be used. Then I've got names like Sarah Del Rey, Sarah Del Rey, 
for those of you who don't know, is the labelled the queen of wrestling. She's a really good women's wrestler. She is the modern day China. I might have said that about Beth Phoenix, but Sarah Delray is legit the heir to China's throne. I'm better looking than China at the end of the day. She and a bet, hell of a better worker. She is a monster woman. If you look at her, you could put her in the ring with a man and say, right, she could beat him. She she can beat him, definitely. It would depend on which man, but like put her in the ring with I don't know, even Chris Hero or someone who she's like in a stable mate with. I w I would fancy her chances to do well in that match. Not that she'd beat Chris Hero because he's he's a he's a beast, Chris Hero. I'm a big fan of his. But yeah, I really think that um Save Dalway deserves a shot at WWE and you know Anyone says she doesn't is talking out the ass. Imagine a Sarah Darby, Beth Phoenix feud. That that would be two big strapping women going against each other. That would be really good. Next, I've got China now. I would have been all for bringing China back because she's a monster. She's the in everyone's mind. I'm pretty sure she's like rated as the um, the best women's wrestler of all time in terms of she could beat anybody. Like. Kayfabe wise, put him again. If you're gonna do like a PWI 500 top 500 women of all time, you'd put her at top. She could be any woman's wrestler, but very strongly, very strong woman. But after the porno that she did, and what a fucking idiot at the end of the day. Why would you do that? She could make so much more money as a wrestler. It's just put her mind. Maybe not in the WWE because of the Triple H and Stephanie situation, but I'm sure they could have buried the hatchet. You know, there's always money in the WWE for someone. To bury the hatch here. If the, if there's money to be made, then they'll bring them back. And with China, I think there is money to be made with her. But she's definitely burned the bridges now. She's done that porno, especially in the current climate. Next, I've written down the Joshi girls. Now I've just signed one of them just because they don't have a um, an Oriental wrestler. I believe Joshi's an Oriental company. I believe from Japan. I don't know a lot about them. I've seen a few matches of theirs of uh, some of their girls on ROH and Shimmer. But um, the only name I can remember is Ayumi, Kur Ayumi Kurihara is the name. I uh, don't know specifically, but yeah, she impressed me in the ring and I would uh, hire her. But I would hire any of their girls who were good enough, just because, you know, I had, that, I had one Japanese woman on the roster. You had Gail Kim who, like, fit that mould, fit that uh, demographic, should I say, that niche. But yeah, now that we don't have one, bring in a Joshi girl, there's a good worker. I'm sure they'd, they'd be happy to work for WWE, they'd get a decent paycheck out of it probably better than what they get for Joshi, but um, yeah, I'd bring one of them in, and next I brought Shimmer Girls, now I don't know a lot about Shimmer, I've only ever seen two Shimmer shows, and none of them really impressed me to the point where I, I remember them, Was is there a girl called Martinez, who's the, the main woman, I saw her on Evolve 1, she was okay, um, but yeah, none of them stand out to me as who I'd bring in, but yeah, you could bring any of them in if they were good enough for the WWE, but I'm sort of losing my track, losing track of what I'm saying there. But yeah, basically that those are my thoughts on the WWE's women's division, where I think they should go with them, and how I think that they should basically centre the division around like a Beth Phoenix or a Natalia or even a Maurice or a Karma. You could centre them around any of these women, and the rest of these women could sort of like all orbit around and win the title and throw it back and forth and stuff but it'd be good stuff book a long book like some like AJ to hold it for like a couple of months like nine months or something after like not right now but in about a year or so then she could really make it strong and then the fans could really get behind her then when someone like Karma comes back and squashes and wins it like Karma's this beast coming back and this evil woman even though people say oh she's been ruined because uh, or she broke down in the middle of the ring, but it doesn't matter if she breaks down in the middle of the ring. I used this um, example at the time, is that when you were in school and you had that big school bully come come round, you were scared of that school bully. Like when I was in primary school, I can't think of who was a school bully, but if I had like a big karma type lad who was there uh, in school and like tried to come round and bully me, I'd be shit scared because sh karma is a brick shit house, like. I don't, we didn't have anyone like that by school, I don't think. I don't know it sticks out in my mind, but um, if there was someone like that who came round and tried to bully me, then I would have been shit scared of them, and I would not have tried to fight back with someone like Cam, like, the size of them, and like, you know what I mean? I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to try and fight this one, I'm just going to try and sit here quiet, because I'm a kid, and they're going to beat the shit out of me, right? That is a school bully. Now, if you see the school bully beaten, like, like, beaten down by, like, 
their dad or something like that. You're you're still going to be scared of that school bullying next day. You're not going to be like, hi, you're a pussy because your dad beat you up. Your dad's something higher and like within the women's division, they're all still scared of Karma, kayfabe wise, because Karma is this all like this massive beast of a woman. Doesn't matter if she's broken down, they're still lower on the pecking order than Karma, and Karma will kick their ass. So you can bring Karma back massive evil character and she will do well what do you think of the women's division of the WWE do you think it should be scrapped some people say just scrap it all together some people say it's totally fine some people are like oh why would you fire Kelly Kelly why wouldn't you want to look at Kelly Kelly you gay or something like it's not it's not a case of wanting to look at Kelly Kelly if I want to look at a good looking woman I'm not going to watch wrestling wrestling is not where I go to look at women do you know what I mean if if that's what I want out of my time it's not I'm not going to look at the first thing I think of when I think of good looking women is not wrestling. I if I when I think of wrestling, I think of wrestling. I want to watch wrestling. Women wrestling can be good with the women who said keep around. They can be good. So what do you think of women's wrestling? Do you think it should be kept? Do you think that they're doing well as it is? Uh, I want to hear women's perspective. If you're a female watching this video, although I highly doubt it. I ha I think I've probably ever had about two or three different females ever watch my videos, but um. If you are a woman, a female, watching this video, what do you personally think of the women's division now? Some of the stuff I might have said in this video might sound totally sexist, and I do apologise for that. That's just uh, me being stupid. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think of the women's division. Anybody out there watching this video, please comment below. I want to know what you think of the women's division. Who do you think they should base it around? Who Do, do you think they should scrap it? Do you think they should keep it? What do you, What would you do to revolutionise it? What would you do to make it better? Etc, etc. And uh, yeah, with that I'm out, thank you very much for watching, comment below, like or dislike, depending on uh, if you liked it or not, and please click that subscribe button if you want to watch more videos, and send my videos along to other people, thank you very much for watching.